It's locked. <laughs>
talking about some older media's manipulating Drew. Drew Brees ain't winning them MVPs. It's over with. I'm sorry. Drew Brees ain't winning them MVPs. Kobe Bryant got snubbed from Steve Nash. I'm sorry. It happens in sports, and it's a conspiracy theorist to sit up here and be like, oh, the media is manipulating Drew Brees into not getting into the playoffs. Or the media is manipulating. Hey, them defenses was terrible. Ain't no conspiracies that, that keep Drew Brees from not getting to nine Super Bowls. Tom Brady, I don't care what nobody say. Bounty Gate and Spy Gate is on the same level. It, 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 it was illegal. Coaches were suspended. Players were fine. It happened. There's an asterisk in the Saints on their Super Bowl. Man, Belichick was suspended for a year? Belichick, we even so it's not the same thing, man. But man, the league, the league burnt tapes. We don't know anything about that. You know, I, I gotta say it, man. It's all good, man. But um, I'm glad, to, I'm glad the Patriots out. I'm glad the Patriots out too, though. It's over with, man. And I hope it's over. And, and look, you know what? In the league, saw what happened last night. The league, watch next year. That situation with that clock. <laughs> oh, they gonna end that. That rule. That's that's the last. That's the first and last time that's popping off. If they took away at least two minutes <clears throat> of football, and then nothing, nothing too. I heard y'all say they had about fifty-five seconds. I think they had, I think they had under fifty-five seconds, right? <clears throat> yeah, I, I think it was. Uh, I, I think it was a little. I think it was less. I couldn't remember. I knew it was under a minute though. You know, pick six. Yeah, like I said, I don't feel <clears throat> for him. Edelman, Edelman dropped the key pass. Hall of Famer. Oh, he should get Hall of Famer. Yeah, that was, that was, that's, that's one of the top two worst, worst ever takes ever. Like, Julian Edelman, Hall of Famer. Man, that was, <laughs> that's all I can, <laughs> What do you want to see, man? I think we need a splash hire. I think we need uh, we need somebody that's going to come in and is going to take uh, control of the franchise. I don't think we need a, a a players coach. I think we need a a, a stern coach, somebody who's going to tell, getting people faces. You know, I think we need somebody who's going to hold people accountable. I really want Urban Meyer to be the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, he went on Colin Colin uh, Coward's show and said that if he were to leave Ohio State, that the Dallas Cowboys is one of the best landing spots for him. Uh, you, trying to, you trying to kill that man. Uh, I thought that man had heart issues. Hey. People die every day, B, going to work. So he gotta, he got he gotta come to work, to, to, to ready to work. I'm just saying, with his, I, with his heart issues, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think that's the place for him. Who am I, man? You know, hopefully, who, who am I? You know, but um, Urban Meyer. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So Saints. I think Saints gonna win, man. Uh, yeah, Saints gonna win. Um, like I said, I think Seahawks gonna beat the Eagles. Um, I, I was watch, I, you know, saw that I was watching the game, the Bills Texas game, and I kind of took a nap, kind of fell asleep. You know? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> like, damn, you, you know, like, hey, that's hey, that play by Watson, dude got smashed, man, right? right? Look, pinball right. type. You know, one dude, Kaka, and then he just bounced off. Yeah, it's, um, like I said, man, Titans, man. My, uh, Vabral. <laughs> who, who knows, man? Maybe Brady plays with him next year. Yeah, I, I, we're going to get in the next hour into the quarterback carousel. Because they, they, there was some reports before this this great year of Ryan Tannehill that Tom Brady could have went go pair up in Tennessee with that run game and Mike Variable. But with Ryan Tannehill getting the job done, I think they're just going to resign him. Man, Buffalo, man. But Buffalo, what the, <laughs> what the game is Kirk A, man? I said Josh Allen would have been a nice tight end. 
I said it when he was getting drafted. You can't say stuff like that, man. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't say stuff like that. You know. <laughs> Frank he could have been a nice Dallas Clark. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Thank you for holding in. Welcome to the morning lock-in. I appreciate you holding in. How you doing this morning? Hello? Hello? Yeah, you're on. Hello? I'm there. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, talk about the fall of Tom Brady and also the QB carousel. The QB carousel. I'm with you on that one. Philip. Ooh. I agree with you. I agree with you on that one. You, on that one. you two for two right now. For for that situation, I agree with you on that. That's if the Saints win the Super Bowl. Now, if they don't, then I think Breeze comes back, and then Teddy Bridgewater signs with somebody else. Yeah, I think that's good. That's okay. Bleacher Report: Matt Miller said that the Saints believe that even if we don't win the Super Bowl, we could bring both of them back. Yeah. Money I'm, situation, money yeah, wise, I don't think that's possible. Yeah, I don't think that's possible just because you got Alvin Kamara that needs a, a his deal restructure. You got uh, Marcus William is a free agent. You got Von Bell, I think, is an unrestricted free agent. You, uh, you got um, you got you got a lot of people that need some some money this go around. So I don't think that they can put that. Do you do you think that do you think that Teddy Bridgewater doesn't try to get the money he you know to this year he really earned himself his next paycheck? Do you think that he turns down a twenty million dollar plus deal for multiple years from another team again versus a one year deal that's going to be you know seven mil or less? Correct. Now this year he earned. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna put himself into that twenty million dollar range. He's gonna get paid more than Andy Dalton. You know. He's gonna get paid more than. Uh, you know. So and Andy Dalton is at seventeen million dollars a year right now. So I, I I I truly think that he's gonna try to take because he's still pretty young. I think he's he's gonna gonna take a contract that's gonna benefit him and his family. For the future, I, I I I honestly would feel bad just letting Teddy keep taking one year deals, sitting behind Drew Brees. Who, you know, again, I'm going to go out there and say he didn't play the full season, but of all the aging.